All right. So we're ready to rock and roll. So my name is Kate Moyer from the Mom Boss Mentor. Hopefully you're enjoying the new branding. I'm loving it. I'm digging it. And today I had the opportunity to do uh, coaching with Eric Worre and also uh, Boss Lee. So Jessie Lee, if you know her, follow her. Uh, she is a person that, like way up here, right? She sold 400,000 um, so far, I think this month. She's already sponsored over 100 people this month. And she dropped all the tips for an hour today with us. Um, and I soaked it all in and she said, go and share it. And I thought, you know what? These are too good to not share, okay? So when things are good, I wanna bring them to you. And this year I've invested a lot of money into training so that I can spread the wealth and help more people level up in their business. So whether you're just starting out, you wanna take up the heat just a tiny bit as a mom boss, or you want to really go all the way, these are tips that you can do. All right, so the first one is a quote of the day. So it seems kind of simple. Um, and if you follow me on Instagram at I am Kate Moyer, I definitely love a quote of the day and constantly am trying to put a quote every other post. I just love the way it looks. I love the flow, but I also noticed people share it. People like it, people connect with it, they comment on it, and it builds a relationship. And at the end of the day with your social media, what do you want to do? You want to build a relationship. You want to connect. You want to have people like, know, and trust you. And you also want people sharing your content. Okay, so quotes of the day. So I like to use an app. It's called the Motivation app. There is the I Am app. There is quotes of the day app. There are tons of options for you. You can Pinterest them. You can Google them whatever works best for you. But I think quote of the day is something everyone can do beginning of the day, start your mindset in the right place and go ahead and share that with the world. Okay. So that's number one. Number two is what worked, go back and do the basics. Okay. So basis could be just dropping something in your stories every day or saw something on your post every day, just behind the scene type of thing, or just something that made you smile or a memory or something that a uh, poll or ask people for opinions or advice, like just things that are going to build their engagement. If you have not looked at my top 10 things to do for social media post ideas, um, you can search it here on the Mom Boss Mentor or I will drop it in the comments below. But that is just another option that you can opt into. Um, and it just kind of allows you to mix it up so that you're bringing some variety and value to your followers. The third way to grow your customer engagement on social media is to document your goal. So a lot of times people have a goal in their business or they have a fitness goal or a health goal or maybe they're working on a project or um, renovation or whatnot, schooling, whatever it is that you are currently focused on, share. Share your progress, share your goal. It's an accountability for you, but people love a story, right? They're rooting for you. They're cheering for you. They want to see you win, okay? So this is just another option for you that is number three, which is document it and hold yourself accountable and build that community that's going to rally and support you. It's not going to happen overnight, but if you are consistent, like maybe it's, you know, Mindset Monday and then maybe... You know, on Friday, it's like fun fact Friday, like this is where I am at my goal or where I'm at, you know, Wahoo Wednesday, I'm celebrating my progress that I have made. Okay. So going ahead and documenting the ups and the downs to show that you are a human, that you fall off the, the wagon, or maybe that you had like, you know, um, issues with a supplier or issues with a contractor or, you know, your foot got hurt. So you got to take a week off, whatever it is, whatever your goal is. Show them all the sides because it's relatable and it shows that people can like and know and trust you. You're going to build a relationship. All right. Number four, this one I have never done. And I have to say it is super, super smart. So hopefully you have a pen and paper handy for this. Um, and if you're not on my newsletter, go and subscribe because I'm going to summarize this and send it out as a newsletter tonight with the video recording on YouTube. But number four, question and answer, period, with your customers live. Oh my gosh. So she said she'll drop a quote in the morning 
And then while she's getting ready, doing her hair or doing her makeup, she'll go live and she'll just say like, hey guys, what's up? Like today I want to talk about, you know, my favorite headband or my favorite hoodie or my favorite, you know, biz tip, or I want to share with you about gut health, or I want to share about, you know, water and why water is so important to drink. Whatever it is that you could talk about or answer questions about freely. And she said, don't stress about the fact that like, no one's going to listen to you. She's like, you can just talk randomly to people. But she said, you want to go live because not very many people are going live on the different platforms, TikTok, Instagram, or Facebook on your personal page or whatnot. Like most people is like hidden in a tiny closed you know, safe, tiny box, a tiny, tiny amount of people. It's just, just really got to get out there and just be yourself. People want to see you. They want to hear from you. They want to get to know you. They want to connect with you. They want to like pick your brain or whatever. Right. So, um, that is a really other great option is going live while you're doing something that is a normal human thing and just having a conversation or doing a Q and a doesn't have to be planned. It could be the same time every week. It could be like, I know Melinda does Sunday night. You know, she does every day while she's getting ready. That's what she does. She talks to people while she gets ready live. Okay. So whatever works best for your people, I guess, you know, but it's something that you could try. Number five is if you're going to be talking about a product or service that you sell. Okay. So you guys know, I love my Yetis. So if I was to talk about a Yeti, you know, I could say, hey, I'm going to interview a person who's a Yeti addict tomorrow night at seven o'clock, blah, blah, blah. Um, and we're going to debate, you know, which is better, Yeti or Corsica or uh, Turvis. You know, you can have a fun little conversation. Or maybe it's about a product that you have samples of. You can say, okay, guys, tomorrow night, I'm going to do some giveaways of some sample packs. My link is in the bio, but you want to come out and you're going to hear some testimonies of real customers that I know. I'm going to interview them live, or I'm going to share tomorrow interviews or testimonies. If you've got one, go ahead and send it to me. And if I feature you tomorrow, I'm going to send you a free sample. Again, it's kind of creating that sense of community where people are learning about your product or people are sharing their experiences of your product service, or even better, celebrating new people that have just promoted on your team or that are having success in your industry, you could spotlight them and showcase them and show what kind of culture and community you guys have if you're focused on sponsoring. Okay, so to recap, there is five. And of course, if you want more tips, you want to make sure that you're following me um, on all the different social medias at I am Kate Moyer, um, or you can sign up for my newsletter at IamKateMoyer.com. But number one, quote of the day, every single day. Bring it, be authentic, be positive, bring the energy, okay? Build that connection. Number two, what worked? Go back to the basics. Whatever you did when you had success, do those things over again, okay? Do not stop. Do not, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? So if it is working, you want to continue to do that. Number three is to document your ups and downs of your own journey, of whatever journey you're on. Number four, Q&A live while you're doing something that is normal and human. And number five, you know, doing some testimonies or interviews or asking people to, you know, share a referral or share whatever in order to receive a sample, or it could be a discount, or it could be that they purchase a sample or a discount. Okay. So whatever it is, but those are her five things. So which one are you going to try today? I would love to know. Was this helpful? Drop a one in the comments. Um, and is it something that kind of scares you? That's okay. Because she said we should go on TikTok three times a day. And she said you should be on stories and lives and all forms of media as much as possible. Like get loud. She said like you cannot put enough content out there is her opinion. Um, and also you need to be consistent. So you can't be here one day and then nothing for the next day. Like you need to at least determine what is the bare minimum that you're going to do if you have a social business that is online with an online store and you are hoping that people will buy from you? She said, you need to be consistent. And I would say 100 recruits in two weeks and 400,000 in sales is worth 
maybe trying a few of her samples, uh, ideas, you know? So I don't know if that was helpful for you. If it was, hopefully you put one in the comments. If it scares you, I'm with you, but I'm going to try it. I went live today and I promised my followers I'm going to go live every single day on Instagram for 75 days. And I will be coming here every Monday with a mom boss mentor, sharing what I'm learning from these top level performers, million dollar earners um, from the network marketing business. Every Monday they pour into us and I want to share at least an aha with you every single Monday. So if you're looking forward to it, make sure your notifications are turned on, add your friends, add your team, and have an amazing night.